seem to get it and understand it, or even apply it to ourselves and make ourselves better. Are y'all following? So, you know, I, this is a scripture that I quote many, but I haven't been quoting it, I've just been putting words in it. But I'm going to read the scripture here so you can see, so you can hear just what it says, and we're going to get on into it. And the scripture that I often be talking about is in Ecclesiastes. And you know, I said that Solomon said, that which shall be and shall be again, that's left and new under the sun. Somebody say something. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is actually how it's. How, how, how it read it says in Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 it says the thing that hath been it is that which shall be and that which is done it is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun verse 10 says is there anything is there anything whereof it may be said see this is new. It has been already of old time, which was before us. Verse 11 says, there is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things which are to come. Who are uh, uh, with those that shall come after? So this is, uh, I read this for this purpose right here. We don't know who we are because it wasn't passed down uh, uh, to us from our forefathers and things like that. And even we can see it all in fashions and all this kind of stuff because it wasn't passed down. Uh, these fashions and these young kids come with these stuff and, and it seems like it's new to them. But there's nothing new that under the sun. There's nothing that has been done that won't be done again. And I'm saying that for a purpose, too, because a lot of things that has been done, even in the spiritual realm concerning Yahuwah and things that he have uh, committed to the earth or even brought forth in the form of judgment, the stuff going to be done again. So when we read this in scripture, we think it just pertains to what was done when he's talking to folk. Losing somebody, right? So we're talking about the big lie. Now, I want to go from that scripture to Revelations right here. Look at Revelations uh, 12, 19. Revelations 12, I'm sorry, Revelation 12 and 9. I'm talking about the big lie. And as we go, we're going to get on into this thing. Look at Revelations 12, and I'm going to start at verse, um, verse 13. Listen to this here closely. This is what the scripture says. Revelations 12, beginning at verse 13. It says, And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman. Somebody said he persecuted the woman. What woman? Listen to this. And when the dragon saw that he was cast uh, unto the earth, he persecuted the woman. Wait a minute. I want to go back to verse. Um, I want to go back to verse nine first. Let's read verse nine, and then we're going to go. Verse nine says, "And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan." Somebody say he was cast out, which deceiveth who? The whole world. Why don't we get this? Why don't the church world get this? Why don't the people or the pastors get this? This is what the scripture says. That devil was cast out and he, it was the same devil, no new devil. It's the same one that deceived the whole world. He was cast out unto the earth and his angels was cast out with him. Y'all got that, right? He was cast out. Okay, now look at this here. Now, when he was cast out, it made him a little angry, meaning that he had no more authority in heaven. He can't go back and forth and accuse you before Yahuwah no more. I don't care what you do. Now, I, I'm not saying that I don't care what you do as though you're okay if you're doing wrong because the devil can't accuse you anymore. No, you still, Yahuwah still will deal with you. It's just that the devil been cast out of his authoritative place that he had access with Yahuwah, and he can't go in and more and accuse you. Because any time, know this is too, because any time the devil accuses you before Yahuwah, know that he's telling the truth. He's not going before Yahuwah lying on you. 
Believe that. Okay, now, it says, and when the devil <clears throat> saw that he was cast out of the earth, verse 13, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. <laughs> which brought forth the man child. And to the woman was given two wings, verse 14. Let me, let me stop right here for a minute. I don't care how much people say, I don't care how much the church world say, I don't care how much Christianity say, God's hand, uh, uh, Yahuwah's hand is still on Yasharel. This is talking about Yasharel right here. It's still about the people, Sister Lily. It's not when the church reads this kind of stuff, this is one of the reasons why they're falling for the big lie. And we're going to get into what the really big lie is in a minute. This is the reason why they fall for the big lie because every scripture like this and dealing with this, they think that they are talking about the church. It has not replaced the 12 tribes. It has not replaced uh, uh, Yahuwah's chosen people. I'm not talking about the fake ones. I'm talking about the true ones. I found out last night that, you know, we're the only, well, I didn't find this, I've been knowing this, we're the only nation of people that don't know their identity, right? Don't know who they come from. And I found out last night where we really came from, who we really are. And it's called the Sungai people of the house of Israel. The 12 tribes of the house of Israel called the Sungai come out of West Ivory Coast there, where we, where we went into. But that's, those are our people. That place is called, what, Guinea now in Nigeria and different places like that. That wasn't the original name. The original name was the Sungai Kingdom or the, or, or the Sungai people. And that's who we are, which makes up the 12 tribes, the house of Judah. See, people won't do the research. I just read to you in Ecclesiastes, people forget formal things. Ain't nobody following me, are you? They forget form of things. And they think that everything that come about is new. It's not new. It's an old thing, you see. So they forgot the form of thing. They forgot who we are. Even we forgot who we are, who we were. But everything is coming to the light. And because of things of the, just like this, the church world. I'm, let me say this here real quick. I could honestly say. Get coming into the knowledge and understanding of Yah and who he really is and who the people really is, I can honestly say that the church have failed for a big lie and anywhere from 60 to 85% of the church is unsaved and not going to make it. I'm going to back it up in the scriptures here in a minute. I'm going to back it up in the scripture. Everyone that, that, that's saying, oh, praise Jesus and all this kind of stuff, I'm telling you, 60 to 85% of them people is not going to make it in. See, it's not only going to be a, a you got to understand, Yahushua came to solidify Yasharel and to open the door up for the other nations because this has always been what the Most High wanted anyway for Yasharel to open the door up for the other nations. He told Abraham that uh, because of you, all nations is going to be blessed. I'm not talking about the, uh, the Hebrew Israelites that don't believe not one, they don't believe that not one single, only somebody is going to be saved is Yasharel. But Yasharel only makes up one nation in the world. And they think that the white people only make up the second nation, just two nations in the world. But, man, there's a bunch of nations in the world, and there's people that's not even going to make it in other nations, even black folk or uh, uh, yellow folk. I'm telling you, everyone has fallen for the big lie. Why? Because Satan has deceived the whole world. And he has deceived them particularly through Christianity. Now, instead of you getting offended, Go and read, do your research, pull up your stuff, pray. Because even that is a demon offense. That's a demon. Many people doesn't believe that. Because if I get upset and mad at something and offended by it, then I can't learn from it even though it's the truth. And this is why many people are the way that they are today. They refuse to look at the truth, but their eyes is constantly on themselves in their way, and that's what's righteous before them. And this is what Christianity has done. 
They have told a big lie, a big false lie, but people believe it. You know, me and my wife, we was up discussing this morning <clears throat> in the scriptures and stuff this morning. And see, look, look at this right here to show you where most people in Christianity, people, period, when they talk about this election. Y'all following me? They talk about this election and then they talk about what, uh, 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 what Donald Trump has done and these people can't see this and particularly black people can't see what this man has done and all this kind of stuff and then they want Harris and all this kind of stuff. I'm telling you, Donald Trump ain't did nothing unless you're who allowed it. But the eye is on Donald Trump. You, you feel me what I'm saying? And most of us, we can't see anything no way. We just go along with all kind of stuff. We, we just go along with people are corrupt. Donald Trump, and I'm saying this, have the same attitude that King Nebuchadnezzar had. When the Most High told him, if you keep talking about you built this kingdom, I'm going to cause you to eat straw like an ox. You're going to turn into an animal. And one day he stepped out on his porch again, look what all my hands have done. And, and, the, and the scripture says from that hour, King Nebuchadnezzar began to grow coarse hairs and turn into an animal. Y'all hear me what I'm saying? So, and we're after and pushing these here kind of people. How are you going to tell me? The scripture says, as in the days of Lot, so shall it be in the days of the coming of man, right? So we know what was going on in Lot's day. We know what, he, and also, uh, 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 as in the days of Noah, you know, so shall it be from the coming of some man. We know what was going on in, uh, in Noah's day. All these demonic this demonic activities, giants, and all that kind of stuff. Last day, all this homosexuality, uh, lesbianism, uh, immorality, and all that kind of stuff, right? So how are you going to tell me? Come on. Uh, uh, Christian church, you got to wake up because you lost and you don't know it. And you can get mad all you want to, but please do the research. How are you going to refute the Bible? Hamashiach said, as in last day, that's going to be the same day I come. And the very thing that was going on in last day, but you think a man can come and make America great again. Same thing was going on in last day is going on today. But you believe him and you cheering him on and make America great again. I'm going to make it great again. How could you fall for this lie? The devil, you, I, you can fall for it because the devil has deceived the whole world. But Yasharel, you cannot be deceived. Don't be deceived. Even the church is deceived when it talks about even the rapture. And that's only dealing with the gathering of Yasharel. They don't know that, look, these, these many words in these English Bibles are nothing but curses and demons. Well, boy, you don't believe in the Bible? Get away from that. Just like God spell. Anybody follow me? Yeah, gospel. It's called the Besora. The Besora. But the enemy have deceived the whole world, and, and he's the God of this world, so that God have put a spell on you. God's spell. You better wake up and stop being so, uh, uh, one glad morning when this life is on. You better stop all that and listen to what you need to hear this. And stop being all, you know, hallelujah, brother. Mm -mm. You're deceived. You're deceived. Because the God of this world has deceived you with his God spell. Because stuff been changed, stuff been taken out, stuff been rearranged and everything, but we refuse to, to, to see it. we rather fall and, and hold on to the big lie than recognize that the God of this world has deceived the whole world. All right, listen to it. We're going to read a little bit more. In Revelation, again, verse 9, and the dragon, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels was cast out with him. He deceiveth the whole world, right? And when the dragon saw that he was cast out, of, uh, uh, cast unto the earth, 
He persecuted the woman. The woman is the same one that produced Yasharel, the chosen people, huh? He's talking about Yasharel here. It's not talking about the church. See, what the church doesn't realize, they're going to have to attach themselves to Yahuwah and, 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 uh, and, the, and the true sign that you have attached yourself to Yahuwah, you will attach yourself to Yahuwah's chosen people. Because the ordinance was given to Israel. The ordinance was given to us, to the chosen people. But you choose to believe a lie, a big lie. And so what you are actually follow, following that you're really calling the gospel is the fake ones that follow the Talmud. And not the Torah. Because you've been told that the Talmud been taken away. Why hadn't you told that the Talmud, uh, you have told, been told that the Torah was taken away? So how come you haven't been told that the Talmud was taken away? I'll tell you why you haven't been told that it was taken out of your way. Because y'all never gave it. Y'all gave the Torah. So you're going to take what he give and take it out of your way. You're going to believe the big lie. Is anybody hearing me in this place right here? Oh uh, uh, yeah, and, and, and see, but the Talmud, which is Satan's doctrine, it, that ain't told that that's been taken out of the way, because it was never given to you by y'all. But the Christian church is constantly falling for the big lie. You won't get in this thing and pray and read yourself. You just go by man's tradition and what they're being teaching you over and over and over and over. You even follow their styles. I'm talking about the black church now. Shouldn't be a black church. Shouldn't be a, a, a white church. Shouldn't be none of those things, huh? Everybody was, the, Yahuwah came so that you can connect yourself with him. He's, he's Yasharel's king. And there's other scriptures that we can get into to let you know that this whole book is dealing with Yasharel. Not Israeli, but Yasharel. Not Israeli, but Yasharel. The whole world has been deceived by Satan. Let me finish reading this here. Let me read something else. I don't know if, if this stuff even making sense to you. And when the dragon uh, saw that he was cast uh, unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child, which brought forth these tribes, these 12 tribes. He brought forth, and the woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she may fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and a half time uh, from the face of the serpent. Right? Okay, now they have often told you what this is dealing with right here is the gathering of Yasharel, just like the uh, just like Yahuwah promised, the gathering of him and then us we being taken into the wilderness. Because the devil is going to be trying to kill us because he knows we the chosen. Why don't the church know this? Why? Because you've been deceived by him. The devil knows exactly who we are. And I think that he has done a great job in covering the eyes of the rest in the world to keep them blind to who we really are. Who you're dealing with right here is loyalty, is royalty. The Most High's chosen, the apple of the Most High's eye. And you have not blessed Israel. You don't even want to believe it because now you're saying that it don't matter. We found out that, that, that Hamashiach is a black man. I ain't going to say no man of color. I'm going to say a Negro. He's a Negro. But now you're saying that it don't matter. Why would that, how come you didn't say it, would, it didn't matter when we was accepting a white one? No one said that it don't matter what color he, he was then. No one said that. And how the enemy have used all, all of this to bring us into deception. He even had us. To, it was no problem. When we, to, when we was told, Lily, that a Marshak was, was white, we had no problem accepting that. No problem. No problem. We accepted it. Our grandfathers accepted it. Our, uh, uh, and and all, all the way down to this generation here. We accepted when you gave us this blonde, this blonde, blue hair, Fabio, we had no problem accepting it. Now, since we have learned the truth, because the whole world been deceived by Satan, remember. But now the truth is coming out because Yahuwah said that in the last days, he was going to begin to expose and reveal. 
So now he's exposed and revealed, and now we found out that Hamashiach is black. Now, why do you have a problem accepting that? We didn't have a problem accepting Fabio. Caesar's Bosch's, uh, 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 Pope Alexander's son. We didn't have no problem accepting that. But now, see, this is what's going to cause a lot of people to be unsaved, particularly the Caucasian. I, I don't mean, I, I'm not trying to be racist. I'm not trying to be none of those things. I'm just sending it out there just like it is. It didn't matter when they changed, took our history and changed it. It didn't matter when they took the Sun Guy people, pushed them out of the land, brought them over to America and, 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 and Jamaica and, and the Caribbean islands and, and, our, and our, the different places and, and enslaved us. It didn't matter and then gave us, took all our history and then changed the scriptures. Because even in the first book of Maccabees, one and I think 33 or one and 43 or something, it says, and the heathen took, I'm paraphrasing, and the heathen took our books and changed the images. To, to their likeness. That's in the scriptures. The heathen took our books and changed the, the images in the likeness of themselves. But you don't even want to believe that because the devil has done a thorough job in deceiving you because he told you them books don't matter. They're not a part of Cana. That's a lie. <laughs> It's a lie. What, does, what is the main common denominator to deceive a person? Tell a lie. The lie is the main common denominator, right? That's, how, that's what you have to do to deceive a people. To deceive a person, to deceive anyone, a lie has to be told. And now everything is coming up. Even the book says, even our book says because... Our Yahuwah knew what was going to happen. Our Lord knew what was going to happen. And he told us in, in, he, even in advance that the heathen going to take your book and they're going to paint their likenesses in it. In Maccabees. And then the heathen was told and we was told too because we believe everything. We believe lies just like they do. And so we believed everything that we wasn't the people. We were just slaves and, and this here and that and, and, and y'all are just nobodies. We, we, when we are the very Mali of the earth, the very Mali. Now, I've told you, all black people, I got to say black, all, all, all black people are not the same, right? All black people are not the same. Now, just because you are, Negro is a certain people, a certain group of people. Then you got your Hamites. They are not Negroes, even though we are the same color in tone and all of this, right? So, a Negro was given by the, the Portuguese, and it just simply means black. I mean, if you go, I mean, even the word in, in Spanish, if you go by an ink pen and, and they give you the English and it's saying black, and it'll say uh, Negro. Negro. That's all what that means, Negro. That's all what this means, black, right? But all black people are not the same. You got your Hamites. You got me? See, during slavery, those people did not go all out through Africa getting slaves. They went to the, a particular location. A particular location. Y'all hear me what I'm saying? And in that location was the Songhai people. That was of the house of David, <laughs> Israel and Judah. That's what we was called because when they left, they, they, they lost identity and all that kind of stuff. They could drop new names and all that kind of stuff. But it was the sun guy, and it was the children of Israel. And the nations around them, even though they was black, even though, I can't, what the, Ghana, was it Ghana or Guinea? Ghana. Ghana is below Negro land, right? I can't think. White folk came and colonized there and only they live there. And they set up trades and, you know, uh, trading posts and all that kind of stuff. And on, and on down, you know, it, it was setting up, you know, different trades that they dealt in. And then on down toward the, that would be the, uh, that would be the east. That would be the east. And then it said the slave trade. 
Say, so they was gathering up this group of people, and the Hamites and the nations that was around them was helping them to gather up the Sung, the Sung guy people for slavery. They knew who we were all along. These people still had their laws. These people still had the Torah. They, it was even said about them in these old books that they, 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 they are peculiar people and all the nations around. They was not like any other nation that was around them and all the nations hated them. Just like what it says in the scriptures today. The Sung Guy people. Come on, is anybody hearing me? Which found out that they was of the house of Israel. They was, they was Yahuwah's chosen people. The chosen people. So all the nations, at the start, well now the Arabs is the one that enslaved us first. Y'all don't know that, did you? The Arab people was the one that enslaved us first. But the, set, the transatlantic slave trade is the one that done more, the most damage and caused us to be what we are now. That's why we're trying to vote for Kamala. Because we twisted up, messed up. And ain't even one of us. You just going by skin color. Come on, wake up. I'm tempted to, to, to say like Fred Sanford you, you used to call Lamont. Uh, you big dummy. Wake up. This woman not, is not even of us. But you saying because she black and she a woman. You see how we go after things, how the enemy has deceived the whole world to go after the things that Yah deems sinful. And we'll not search the woman's background for nothing. This woman made it her business when she was a prosecutor in, in, uh, um, in California to, to send Negroes to just pile the prisons up with them for a little nothing and even had proof that they weren't even guilty X, but refused to look at the proof. She got the record. And, and y'all want to, because she, the first black woman to be president that woman is a lying devil, and he's using her, and just like he have used other ones, to deceive the whole world. Particularly to deceive Yasharel. Why are they always after our vote? You know, if we, the, if we are the, uh, the minority, why are they always after us if we are the minority? Because we are not the minority. You believe all this stuff. We're the majority. We are the majority. But a lot of us are trying to turn from that. That's the reason they got these borders and stuff open. So they can trick other people. I mean, man, our folk is everywhere. Our folk is everywhere. They are everywhere. And I've often tried to imagine in my mind how y'all, I know he is great. He's the greatest. And he's, I've often tried to imagine in my mind what it's going to look like gathering all these people. That's in every corner of the earth. I'm going to get into that too. That's in every, that is in the four corners of the earth. We just refuse to, to see and to believe Yah, even though we say we believe him. There, we are in the four corners of the earth. Ain't no corners on this. Ain't no corners on this. Flat. Corners on this. We believe everything that we're told. Even though y'all say, I'm going I'm I'm to rescue my people from all four corners of the earth. A globe don't have corners. We've been deceived by the devil, the whole world. And we can't get that for nothing, especially Christianity. Especially Christianity. I'm saying that the earth is flat. I'm saying that the earth is flat. That's what I'm saying. And, and, and we're covered by our firmament. Listen here, man. These jokers have been trying to shoot through this firmament for years. They've been sending up missiles, missiles and, and uh, 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 um, 
rockets and stuff, not spaceships, but um, nuclear. Been trying to shoot through this formula so they can let Satan them in. And trying to get out and all this kind of stuff. The earth is circled. You got an a, a ice wall around the earth. An ice wall. There's no end. And every time anybody approaching them ice walls, I don't care where you in the east, west, north, or south, here come the, the government. Leave or be killed. Because you will find out that the earth is flat. And this man just pulled up some right here. Got an ice wall circling it. An ice wall. And you just think this in the Antarctica. A great ice wall. And, and all of you saw this clip by John Glenn telling this girl that that was this little girl, that's the biggest lie ever told. We never went to the moon, honey. We never been to the moon. They can't get outside the farm in it to go. And they showed us in a show one time. Y'all remember that show? That those people couldn't get out that city that was this permanent that was over them. They couldn't get out. What the name of that show was? We used to watch it. The Dome. <laughs> the Dome. They tell us, but guess what? We're just too deceived by Satan to figure it out. What they're actually telling us. So we just perceive it all as entertainment. Yasharel, it's time for you to wake up. Gentiles, it's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to wake up and realize the truth. You're serving a Negro uh, 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 Messiah. You, you, and that's the only way you're going to get out of here. That's the only way you're going to have eternal life. I say out of here, but you even been told that you're going to live in heaven forever. That's a lie. That's a lie. These scriptures that you says is all of them is true and 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 uh, uh, and they don't contradict themselves. It says that the meek shall inherit the earth, shall inherit the earth. So how is we, we gonna we believe that we go into heaven and to live and he's going you're gonna be raptured up and how can we believe it, Rob? And inherit the earth too. The meek shall inherit. The earth. Wicked people have done this stuff. And we have been so deceived. We have been so deceived. Let me just keep reading because there's more scriptures I want to get down to. And when the dragon saw that he was cast out to the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. And the woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she may fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished a time. What that is? Three and a half years. See, Yasharel ain't going to have to go through a whole lot of this, this tribulation that you've been told, Christianity, white Christianity, black Christianity, Russian Christianity, no matter what Christianity, you've been told that you're going to be raptured out of here and that you're not going to have to go through no tribulation period, that you don't even worry about the Antichrist because you ain't going to know who he is when the scripture says that when things begin to break out, it says one shall be taken. I'm going to read them scriptures and, and one shall be left. Right? And you think that you've been, you're the one that's going to be taken out. But the scripture does not teach that. The scripture does not teach that you're going to be taken out. Huh? The scripture teaches about the, the, uh, the parable of the, of, the, of, the, of the tares and wheat. Now who, when, when, when they wanted to go in and root up those tares to get them out, and all you who said let them both grow together, though you're going to root up the good stuff. And then when it was time for harvest, who did Yahuwah tell his his people to go and root up in, in first. He told them the tares. Go root them up, burn them up, and put them in the fire. They're the one that's going to be taken out of here first, judged, dealt with, and you're going to be left. See, he got to separate the goat from the sheep. He got to separate the wicked from the righteous. And the righteous and the wicked is the one that's going to be taken up first. Read Psalms 37, the whole Psalms. Read Psalm 37. Listen, and he tells us, all of this stuff that is coming up on this world, 
all this stuff, these tribulations and great tribulation, is coming to destroy the wicked. You hear me? It's coming to destroy the wicked, even if the wicked is in your church of God. Even if the wicked is in your first Baptist Pentecost or whatever. Because you got some there. Because we have all fallen for the big lie and only a remnant is going to be awakened to, to what's happening. Only a remnant is going to be awakened to it. Everybody else is still following the lie. Everybody else is still worshiping JC or Zeus. Do the background yourself. Quit fighting with me. I'm just putting the information out there trying to save you because this is what Yasharel's job to do, to go and take this bolster to the other nations. That's what Yahuwah always desired. That's when he gave the ordinance to us. He said, I didn't choose you because you were the greatest. I didn't choose you because you were so special and because you had it going on. <laughs> and the only reason why he's even coming back to get the rest of us, he's going to keep his promise to Abraham. Abraham was faithful. Because we're sure not. We're sure not. How can we be? Man, we don't even know who we are. We, we want to be just like the other nations. The other nations. The scriptures even tell us that they, that they don't want us to, even, even our father, uh, 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 Judah, told us, he told us that you're going to make your girls dancing girls. You're going to have them shaking their stuff and all this. You're going to make them, gonna, this is what you're going to do to your own people. Your own people. So we have all fallen for a lie. And we think that we're going to be ushered out of here before anti-Messiah comes, which is just not so. Which is just not so. I'm, I'm rushing myself. The reason why I'm, I'm here and there. But let me read this here to you. Verse 5 says, verse 4 says, and the woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time and a time and a half time from the face of the serpent. Verse 15 says, And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away uh, 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 after the flood. Now what is that talking about? Because you, 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 you will think, if, if you're not careful, you will think that this thing is, is, has literally cast water out of his mouth. This is talking about what Yahuwah was talking about. All nations is going to come up against you. This flood is dealing with nations. It's going to come up against Israel, trying to kill us, trying to get us. They hate us now. Why can't they see that? Why can't you see that the just for your understanding, I'll say this here. Can't you see that the whole world hate the Negro? The whole world is against the Negro, but you still refuse. <laughs> you still want to hold on to your lie and say that them people over there is the, is, is, is the people. To be honest with you, I don't even believe that's the land. To be honest with you. Might be part of it, but that certainly ain't all of it. How would that little old strip, how would that little old strip hold a people that Abraham couldn't even count? He's, he told him in the end, if you can number them, if you can count the grain of sand, if you can count the stars of sea, you be how that little strip gonna hold that much folk? And, 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 and it's not, it's not. It's not so good, but we still want to hold on to the lie because you refuse to recognize, to admit, to say that them Negroes that we didn't, didn't rape, that we didn't pillage, that we didn't stole from, that we didn't treat it wrong, that we didn't give their children to alligator bait, that we didn't exploit it all over. You refuse to, to acknowledge that them Negroes is the most high chosen. What going to happen to us? Well, I tell you what's going to happen to you if you don't repent. Read Job 3. Read Obadiah. Ain't but one book there, so take your time. You can read that. Go, go, go in there and read Jeremiah 30, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Go in there and read Ezekiel. Read it all. 
And you'll see what's going to happen to you if you don't repent. Because them people that you done just slung around and did like dirt and all that kind of stuff, and now you're finding out that they are the chosen ones. They're the ones who you who will love. They're the ones who is the apple of, look, let me tell you something, too. This is the reason, too, why I'm going to tell you the reason why all these, uh, uh, these white women trying to marry these black men. I'm going to tell you this here. Listen to me close now. Now, you know, China had put out something because they're they wanting black men to, to come over because they, their population is falling. You, you know what I'm saying, huh? Yeah, yeah, Japan, that's right, Japan, because uh, their population is falling. You got me? And, and they, they're going to give black men $75,000 or something to come over and mate with their women. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, they're doing it, but they messing up too because I'm going to tell you something. Now, and then, on, uh, uh, and now Poland is doing the same thing. Now, Poland is, is straight white now. You got me what I'm saying? Their population falling. They're dying too. See, these people are dying of, of, of different diseases and stuff, and they need the melanin to heal them. And that's the reason why they want you. They ain't want you because they like you and because you're good and all that. You got some that, would, that breathes life, that brings healing, and that's that melanin in your black skin, in your Negro skin. See, they slick. They still slick in us. We are $75,000 just to come on. See, the man will think that, shoot, I'll take $75,000 to go to have sex. You're a fool. You, 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 you're a fool. Uh, 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 are you hearing me? You, you are a fool. It's that melanin. And then I found in the book, I found in the book, I found in the book, y'all, that, uh, that Yahuwah said when we mate, when we mate outside, it says, I look at you as Sodom and Gomorrah. I found it in the book. I found it. I found it. Did I not read it to y'all the other day? I found it in the book. See, this stuff that they told us that, uh, uh, that don't matter no more, and they took these books out and all that kind of stuff, that they did it for a reason. He do not want us mixing. But we didn't did everything now. You hear me what I'm saying? This is the reason, too, I found in the book. He said, well, when I gather you because I'm faithful to Abraham, I'm going to cleanse your blood. How about y'all mixed ones? I'm going to cleanse your blood. Because Massa did a number on us. Massa knew what he was doing when he was raping y'all, raping our women. He knew what he was doing. He was getting his seed in there to mix up because he knew. The devil knew how Yahuwah felt about his people mixing. Now, you deceived ones are called what I'm talking about now. Racism ain't no darn racism. This Yahuwahism. <laughs> this is Torism. I'm telling you, man. I found this stuff in the book. All we got to do is search it. All we got to do is read it. He said, I look at you as Sodom and Gomorrah. That's how much he didn't, he wanted us to stay pure. But since Judah wanted to be like the nations, I scatter you. Everybody has fallen for the big lie. This is the reason why it's on your commercials now, promoting it, putting it before your eyes, giving are making this appealing to you, all this mixed stuff. Everywhere. They can just do a simple man-made commercial. Why did mama got to be white and daddy got to be black or vice versa? And it ain't going to never be no little old chocolate kid. You can get two chocolate people and that headed child with fluffy long hair and, and, and the color, color of the song. You hear me? They hate Negroes. Don't tell me, talking about let's come together uh, 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 now and, and stop preaching. Hey, ain't nobody preaching no hate, preaching facts. The Bible says this. What you say you believe, Christian. You say you believe it. But when it really hits home, you don't really believe it. You're falling for the big lie. You believe this lie. That's the reason a lot of Gentiles is not going to make it. I'm talking about Gentiles, not so much particularly Gentiles. Of, well, a lot of Gentiles is not going to make it because they're they going to refuse to turn away. Uh, to, they, they refuse to turn loose their gods. You know, their idols. You feel me? They refuse to turn them loose. But a lot of our white uh, uh, Gentiles are not going to make it because they're just going to refuse to serve a Negro. You 
Man, I promise you, I am who I am. And, all, and the way I'm saying things is the only way. I don't know how to put it no other way. I don't know how to beat around the bush. I don't know how to just skip a, around the mulberry tree. I don't know nothing about all that. I, I can only say, express the way I'm expressing. You can't change me. I wish it was a way I could do it nicer, X. Denise. I wish it was a way I could do it nicer, but it ain't in me because you Nick Rose and, and you Gentile act like you don't even get that either. You don't even get that either. Come on now. Let me finish reading this here because there's some more scriptures I want to take you to to prove this big lie. It says the earth helped and swallowed up everything. That means that the earth is going to do just like it would have done for Korah and Dathan when they was coming up against Moses and Aaron. The earth has opened up a hole and just swallowed a bunch of them. They still, the nation still going to try to get to the most highest people and destroy them. That's how much we are hated. I don't care what you say right now. You know, the worst thing, let me, let me say this right here. The worst thing that a mixed couple can do, you know, a mixed couple, especially if that man is black and that woman is white, the worst thing that they, uh, she can do is call the police on that black man. Or the, and the first worst thing that she can do, y'all could be in a public place and she crying tears and, <laughs> and you stand there. The best thing for you to do, black man, is get up and leave because you finna die. Ain't nothing more merciful or, 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 or comely than a white woman crying with a black man there. The world will come see after. But let it be you. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm stating facts now. I'm stating stuff that I done saw in research and, 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 and they got it on film. You hear me? And, and, and hear this white woman say it. This white lady said that her son is biracial, right? And her biracial son, he black and he white, and he was going with this white lady. And that white lady sitting in the restaurant, they had, they had got, got into it that day, and she just shedding them tears. This and, that. and she said, you know what my son did? And she said, I'm telling you right now, you white women, y'all ain't right. That's the worst thing y'all can do is go with a black man and then sit up and, make, and, and cry and make tears like he's doing something to you. Then the cop come and kill him. Said, my son said the first thing he did was left that place. But that's what she talked. She said, I'm a white woman and I know what I'm talking about. That every you got the world's attention when a white woman cry. You can labor on preaching hate all you want to. I'm telling you the truth and what somebody said. Because you love to put that stuff down to keep yourself covered up. Stop that. Everybody gonna have to come true. Everybody been deceived. Everybody's living a big lie. It's going to be all about your who, not about who you are, who you think you are, how you think, what you want to do, who said this about you. It's all about your who are. And many of us, including Yasharel, Gentile world, many of us today are still in idolatry. Even in our elections, we're in idolatry. Just like I told you about Trump, I'm going to make America great again. How? Like you, Yahuwah. And then the other side showing you what they're about. They're they having their little DNC or whatever, and they brought Megan the Stallion there. Now that's who it was? Megan the Stallion there shaking her butt. This is the woman winning for president. And you know why she can do that? And y'all will still vote for her? Because you've been deceived. The whole world. They killed 25 babies. You see this devil? Why can he do that and be so bold and still stand? Why? Because the whole world is in deception. We only care about ourselves. We ain't caring about what Yahuwah said. Even as, man, there's some stuff in that word that shoot. I hate I even run up on. Because <laughs> then you be accountable. And you'll be accountable. They put some stuff in that Bible. Tell my slavery and half you had to be with your own mouth. They added that. Because the, the back scriptures talks about indentured servitude. Indentured servitude. That's a difference. Uh, uh, slaves, be obedient to your own mouth. They added that crap. Rearranged the word. 
rearranged it. So when they do what they did to you, you, you if you want to go to heaven, you, you'll be obedient to your master. You do what he say. If you want to go to heaven, scriptures ain't promised us no heaven. It says we're going to inherit the earth. The meek shall inherit. Do I need to show that to y'all? Oh, okay, y'all don't read it then. Y'all act like y'all don't believe me. But we didn't fail for all this, 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 this Christian stuff. We didn't fail for it all. We have fallen for it. And it don't even say it. It says in the dragon in verse 7, And the dragon was walked with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. So mad. So mad, man. Now he's making war with the remnant of us. See, it's only going to be a remnant of us that make it in. I already told you. It's only going to be a remnant of us. I already, I already told you, and I ain't by my word for it. If our young folk don't, don't make it, y'all ain't going to make it out. Y'all doomed if y'all don't change. You're doomed. You're not going to make it into uh, y'all's kingdom. And the thing about it, you don't even care. You don't even care if you make it or not. Right? Do you care? I ain't talking about your generation. I'm talking about this generation under y'all. Y'all ain't even going to make it in the kingdom. I promise you that. Because you're doing nothing to change it. You're deceived. You're walking by Satan's principles and rules. I promise you that. Only reason why, uh, 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 <laughs> I ain't even got to go there. Mm -mm. I ain't got to go there. Man, I can't get in no planet. And these, and, these, and these Christian pastors ain't telling y'all this stuff. They're not teaching y'all this stuff. They still talking about he rose and, and, and follow Jesus. He's your savior. And, he, and you're going to be raptured out of here. You know? That's what they still telling you. It's a lie. It's a lie, so you won't be prepared. Now, look at here. I want you to turn to 2 Corinthians. I want you to turn to 2 Corinthians, uh, the fourth chapter. To prove to you that Satan is who the Bible says he is. And he have done what the scripture says he have done, right? Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter. Second Corinthians 4, and I'm coming down to a, oh man, oh man. I can't never finish. Second Corinthians 4. Are you awake, Harmony? Second Corinthians 4. Verse 2, 2 Corinthians 4, starting with verse 2. Look what it says. But have, well, let me, let me just go to verse 1. It says, let me just go to verse 1. It says, therefore, seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy, we faint not. We don't faint. It says, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahuwah deceitfully. Now, see, this is what these pastors need to read. Because it's Paul speaking here. This is what the modern day Christian pastors, pastors period, need to begin to read. Because you're not telling the people the truth here. You're not telling them the truth. You're handling the word of Yah deceitfully. You're handling it craftfully. I mean, you're not doing right with it because you're not waking the people up to the truth. You're not telling these people who they are, and you sure enough ain't telling them what they done done. Come on, am I right about this? You're just not doing it. You are not doing this. But we have renounced the hidden things, Paul said, of dishonesty. We're not walking in craftiness nor handling the word of Yah deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yahuwah. 
But if our Basra, not God's spell, is it, for if our Basra be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Why are they lost? Because you ain't telling them the truth. You've been walking craftily, uh, craftily and, and, and you've been handling his word in a deceitful manner. You pastor, this is why they lost. This is why they still lost. But if they are lost in whom the God of this world has blinded their minds. He have blinded their minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious Basra or gospel as they got it will shine unto them. Look, look here, man. I'm telling you, you cannot see this truth. If you are constantly believing the deception, you will not see this truth that is being revealed. If you are constantly believing the deception. Talking about some 66 books and you believe it. And then you got our folk. I never heard a white pastor say it, but you got our folk. Man, if, it, if you say something more than them 66 books, I don't want to hear it. You're not a dumb by association. You're dumb by choice. By choice. They the main, we're the main ones. Because we've been taught this religious, this religiousity, and I mean we are bent on it, and we are not moving in spite of who we are. I've had, I've had the white person, white people tell me, man, it's just something. It's got to be more to this church thing. I'm, I'm just thinking, I, I just want to leave church. Something ain't right. But us, there's my mama church, my grandmama church, and I ain't moving, and my grandmama got a name on a pew. And then, and then, and then Reverend uh, uh, Duke of Dad really preached it today, and he did up but kicked his leg up and raised his voice. But Reverend Duke Dad really preached it. We are ignorant and deceived by choice. By choice. And we are not going to hear our own people if we're saying, man, you are the chosen. You are Yasharel. You are the tribe of Judah. We ain't going to hear it coming from you, X. But if, uh, uh, if Johnny come and tell us, then we'll believe it because Johnny's white and Johnny's smarter than you. You nut. We got all of this. You know what then brought all this on? This, this kind of understanding, this kind of, not understanding, this kind of a mindset, white supremacy that you deny. There is systemic, uh, systemic racism that you deny. You don't believe it because you, don't, you, you benefit from it. And anyone that benefits from it don't really know that it's there and what it's doing to the next person. You understand me? All this stuff comes from white supremacy that is still present presently and vibrantly alive today and we are still acting toward it we're, we're still this way we'll believe that white man before we believe that black man i mean our education system is wrapped up in white supremacy everything is wrapped up in everything is wrapped up in white supremacy and they don't want to admit it they're not going to admit it why why would i admit to something being done away with that i didn't benefit it from and still benefiting from Everything is wrapped up in it. White supremacy. And, and we are scared to even say it. Well, I ain't, I'm not a polite, uh, uh, I hate to even call myself a pastor now. You got so many people that is out of the way. And, and, and you got so many folk that are out of the way. Our people and I ain't preaching what they need to teach our folk and, and all this kind of stuff, man. And won't say what need to be said and, and, and this and that. I mean, even back in the day, you know, the nonviolent thing that, that Martin Luther King, Michael Luther King, you know, or, that was never supposed to be. Fella got his calling wrong. I know some of y'all ain't got the ball to say that. But he got his calling wrong. I mean, he he he... Had we been through enough, we still got to go through slaughter? Come on, some nonviolent? And then even he began to change at the end and said, I messed up. I messed up. 
But we ain't got, we, we still want to honor him. Man, he got his calling wrong. We done been through enough with Master. Now we're trying to come over the top, and you still want us to just cross bridges and, and die and, and pool, and you don't see that on your plan. No, that was not right. I don't care how it looked. The devil has deceived the whole world. The devil has deceived the whole world. You, you go over, you, you get the books, get in the books, and you read about Massa Moose of them. And somebody coming over there talking about some, Massa Moose of them slaughtered them. You ain't coming over here taking over nothing. And you're going to lead us through, and we shall overcome. No! And then it killed enough of us. Don't you know millions of us died coming over here on them darn ships? And then you still talk about this, and now people get behind everything. And now I'm revealing this truth. Now I had to deal with some of them, some of y'all, because you don't want to know the truth. And just like old fella said, <laughs> I don't know if it's true or not. It, it was another woman that, that really refused, another black woman that really refused to give up a seat on the bus. But the only reason why they chose uh, Rosa Parks because she was half white. <laughs> so give her that limelight. And had the good hair. Yeah, nothing but deception. You never have to see the whole world. And how you going to call your hair nappy, a uh, 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 black woman? Or, or a Negro woman. How are you going to call your hair nappy? That's white supremacy. Guess what? The Bible calls your hair woolly. But you're going to say what they said, and little nappy head black folk. You're going to say what? I hate that crap. It's time for you to change your mind, re-educate yourself, not under this doctrinal satanic system, but under Yasharel system, but Yahuwah gave them. You ain't got no nappy hair. You got woolly hair. Woolly, that's what the Bible said. I ain't never found nappy in the Bible. We just done fell for everything, and then when somebody go to straightening you out, Judah, then you got to fight with you. See why Yahuwah said, you just so stiff-necked and rebellious. Can't tell you nothing. You know nothing, but you act like you know everything, which you know nothing, and you know nothing because can't nobody tell you nothing. You just smart all by yourself. That's impossible. You smart all by yourself. That's impossible. We gotta wake up, man. We gotta wake up. We have to wake up. White supremacy have overtaken us. And we don't even know that we're indoctrinated with it. They put us, they put us in a little old cup. You, right, you feel me? Follow me. They put us in a little old cup, all together, pack us in there like sardine, and then put uh, uh, drugs in that little cup with us, and then put. Uh, 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 liquor stoves in that little cup, little community cup that you call it. And then you, you put up signs in that little old cup. You can come out, uh, uh, plant parenthood. And then and then you want to broadcast. And, and, and then don't bring no money into it, no kind of relief. And then we start killing ourselves. And then you're going to say, look at all these people, how they kill them one another. They ain't they never savages. And you created all this. White supremacy. You created it. That's right, I don't listen to no black folk when they get on there talking about uh, our community today. Why don't, you ever, why don't you ever talk about the creation of it? How it was created. It was created by white supremacy. But you want to talk about and down us because of the results of what we're doing. This was created. This ain't what I chose myself. That's the reason it, 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 our, in our culture, the, the whole village raised a child. And we didn't switch the village for the done government. And the government is of Esau. If truth be told, I know you don't like it, but you don't have to like it. Just realize it, acknowledge it. Man, we are something else. We are off. Oh. You ain't telling me this. I, I'm not trying to be nice. I'm not trying to be polite. I'm not trying to be appropriate. Too much harm been done. 
too much stuff than happening and still happening. Look at that creep what he did to Sonia Massey. And then Candace Owen gonna have to set your white black self down. You need to just sit down you, with your, with your uh, 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 um, American uh, um, uh, white supremacy education. Because that's the only reason you saying what you saying. You know that, that, that joke, and they got it all on body cam. You know that joke ain't even had no business in that woman's house. And you're going to say she deserve it and this and that or brought it on. You need to sit down. As soon as you get rid of that one that you're married to, you'll see things different. And it'll be 10 years before we invite you back to the barbecue. I'm telling you, to the, whatever you want to call it. That you all, she ought to know better than saying that. That woman ought to know better than saying that. She deceived, ain't she? Deceived by the whole world. Deceived by the whole world. And we got it right here on camera. It don't matter if we're on camera getting slaughtered, Deborah. It still ain't, ain't so. We still had to do something. But you got this little white woman on the bus crying. <laughs> Everybody around her. She ain't even shy. She's just crying. Oh, Lily White, what's the matter? Mm. That boy act like he mad. I am. Sick of it. You're just sick of it. Probably we invite Facebook won't let us uh, do it, don't. Huh? They done kicked us off too. Recording. Because we're raw. We're raw. We're telling the truth. Nobody wants to discuss the truth. Everybody wants to just still lay in their deception. It's comfortable being deceived, huh? Just like the ostrich with his hole, head in the hole. As long as he don't see nothing, he's comfortable. And fire bombs going off. It's just a matter of time before he gets shot in his butt. But because he can't see it, he has no sense of it's going to happen. People like being deceived. They love it. They love it. They want to be told a lie. Everything is corrupt. Everything is corrupt. I'm going to tell you why, why most of our women like the bad boys. You know why most of them like the bad boys? Huh? It, it, it ain't, it ain't uh, 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 because they got swag, what they say. No, them boys tough. They're ratchet. And, 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 and they're raggedy. And they're just rough and tough. And that's the way they like their sex. Women do. They like the bad boys. Bad boys are put it on them. That's what it kneels down to. That's what it all kneels down to. You don't ever see them getting married, do you? They deal in the dope, the drugs, they bring y'all the money. These Christian pastors ain't going to tell y'all this right here. We just tell our girls, you be there, you be there. Them girls liking them bad boys with that gold grill and all that kind of stuff. Because they rough, they nasty, and they nasty too. That's why they like them. But you're going to get what you draw. What, what you, you know? No, we don't want our girls to be this here way, but hey. If they ain't taught right, if they really ain't, ain't getting the hammer put down on their head, that's what they're going to go after. I promise you. That's why they like bad boys, because they rough. The, the, we, 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 in this generation that we got now, we ain't got no ladies anymore. We got women. We got women. A lady don't like that. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. We've been deceived. The whole world has. You think the world just been deceived concerning the uh, 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 the gospel or the Bosra? You think they just been deceived? They've been deceived across the board. Ooh, man, you tell me what lady? 
What lady wants somebody walking around with their pants behind their butt with a gold grill and their leg, their feet turn out like that so they won't rank in the shoe, you know, and, and just walking in. <laughs> what lady wants that? The whole world been deceived. Yeah, I mean, when y'all told me that that's the reason why them people walk like that, I couldn't believe that, wrong. I seen these little old boys. I seen these little old boys with their white white beetles on and their jeans just look like it's painted on them. And, and, and the feet turn out like that and down. And they walking in the house just walking like this here. I couldn't believe it that's when they told me that. That's why they walk like that. They don't want to wrinkle their shoes. And what can these jokers do for you? The whole world been deceived. Because the woman and got nasty. The woman and got ratchet. You hear me what I'm saying? She done got masculine. So she rough. So she wants some rough sex. So she got to get a rough boy, a man, a ratchet dude. That's why they like bad boys. Because they bad. They bad. That's when they like Tupac them. You joke a don't 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 they ride in they in they uh 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 lowered and and uh uh Chevy impellers and going down the road like this and even the car act like them. Car acting like them. Squatting and all this kind of stuff. The whole world been deceived. Whole world been deceived, Rob. And now we we think all that look good. The car acting like them. You know, you, you can't make one of us mad or something. We, but nigga, I tell you this song. Nigga, nigga, nigga. The whole world being deceived. And now the car acting like them. <laughs> you know, them hydraulics, man. And you just can't turn around the curb no more. The car cocked. Whole world deceived. Whole world to see. Just came. We saw them. We saw something. Everything they like bad boys. Cause I got a few of my family, and they were bringing girls and women working banks and other. Hi, you with him? How? How? Just how? Bad boys, Denise, because they bad. And, they, and, and it's all about that sex thing. And, 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 and them, they know them bad boys, they're going to whip it on them. Yeah. Say what you want to say. But you ain't going to be saying that in church. Where are you going to say it at then? You ain't saying it nowhere. You letting our girls just go, and you ain't saying it nowhere. Where are you going to say it at? That's where you got them all at. You got all the people in one bunch. Now, what you going to do? Because you can't show, can't go to each one of them house and say this. You don't wait in here with that stuff. Man, I'm telling you, this world, like, like, like uh, Mother them you said, this world is going to hell. It's going to hell in a, in a hand basket. I mean, it's just the whole world been deceived by Satan. And this is where they have come to. <sighs> Y'all keep this stuff in mind, the whole world. It, 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 the big lie, and I, I, I promise you, I'm gonna finish this next Sunday. I, I, I say that all the time, and I never do. But I got some more scriptures that I want to go to, to let you know too, how they believe in this big lie. Because you are just not finna get out of here by JC coming to get you. Moment between love and I, it ain't happening like that. Stuff added. Stuff added. Stuff added. And it's all about Yasharel. Come on, let's stand to our feet. I'm done.